my life was uh, seriously uh, difficult before, you know, I love to do cooking, I love to stand up long time in my kitchen, I just couldn't do that. Uh, now, that, there's no problem, I do it again. The procedure uh, that I have had, I will recommend it to anybody I meet who has that problem, because it's seemingly easy. Uh, hearing the recovery process from traditional hip uh, operation and compared to this, <laughs> there is no choice. I mean, this is this is a very easy choice to do. I'm a 67 year old guy. I lived in China for 17 years and uh, experienced some strange, sudden pains in my left hip when I was walking. It's just as if suddenly my hip didn't want to move and that was extremely painful. Um, for a while I kind of dealt with it and didn't think any of it because as a principle I haven't really been all that thick so thinking that I had a serious problem didn't really come up until the pain started to linger and be more permanent. I couldn't really get up from when I was sitting, I couldn't really lie down, I couldn't walk. Uh, and I got fairly tired when I was standing. So I had uh, a couple of injections uh, that removed the pain from the knee for a while, but then I realized that my hip actually created problems. Uh, you know, my, my painkillers uh, and the cortisone um, th are things that I would really seriously like to try to avoid. I don't like painkillers, I don't like to become addicted to any kind of drugs. So being able to have operations without that uh, is just an extra plus. And uh, you know, it's uh, before the, the hip operation, I took painkillers, <clears throat> I simply had to. But it only took a, a little tip of the pain, it didn't remove it, so using it didn't really make me feel good. I realized, uh-oh, I'm gonna get a new hip and I really didn't want that. Uh, running my own business and obviously think that I'm irreplaceable, uh, taking two, three, four, five months off to replace a hip just, just didn't appeal to me. They also told me that I shouldn't expect that my pain would go away. Uh, I can't tell you how much that eases one's mood. That you can get up, you can walk around. I'll never walk normal because I'll always walk like a, I don't know what. But uh, normal for me is the way I walk now and it is just great. If, if I take the pain first, uh, the pain I felt, uh, if 10 is totally unbearable, I didn't get there, uh, but I assume I got to 8.5 to 9 for pain in my hip, it was close to unbearable. And uh, after the procedure, walking around, of course it went, went down gradually because I wasn't used to it, but if we talk general pain now, 0 0.2. Uh, if we take movement, uh, it's been quite an experience for me to, to do uh, physiotherapy because my left hip has better movement than the right hip. Uh, I can move uh, my hip much more than the right hip. I can stretch uh, some of the, the things you do in therapy. I can do better with my both my left hip and knee than I can do with the right one. Same thing as with pain. If it was movement before, it was really limited, it was seriously painful, so I'm down to 0 0.2, 0 0.3. It's, it, it's so low that it's, it's precautionary to mention it, otherwise I would say I don't have any pain. <laughs> yes, I'm very, very satisfied and uh, uh, I'm, I will be a living at for Dr. Nisa and the hospital and the procedure. Uh, for a very long time. It has been a whole lot 
easier to get through than I imagine a traditional hip replacement would have been. And uh, I'm really happy that we went that way and uh, I'll be forever grateful.